Today I'm going to demonstrate how to create a sunset effect using gradients. I'm going to start by creating a night sky. I'm going to set the stage to black and I'm going to use my spray paint tool with my fill color set to pale yellow. And then I'm going to change my brush sizes so they're pretty much maxed out. 550, 400. I'm not worried about the brush angle. I'm going to zoom this out to 50% and I'm going to very, very rapidly spray across the stage, not worrying if I get anything on the outside because it won't be visible. There, I now have a starry sky. I'm going to lock this layer and I'm going to name the layer Stars. I will need another layer on top of that layer, which I will call Sunset. And I'm going to set my Line tool to nothing. I'm going to select my Rectangle tool. So the stroke is empty. The fill color doesn't matter on the rectangle because I'm going to change it anyway. And I'm going to draw a rectangle just a little bit bigger than the stage. Now I'm going to use my linear gradient tool and I've already set up my sunset colors purple, red, orange, yellow, and blue. And You'll notice that I can set an alpha on each swatch. I want the purple to be fading into the night sky. So this is at a 32% alpha. My second one is at a 60% alpha. And my middle swatch is at an 80% alpha. The first two are at 100%. I'm going to use my fill bucket tool. I'm going to click on the screen. And this was working, but it's not going the way that I want it to. So I will need to use my gradient transform tool. I will select this. I will turn it. And I want to stretch it out a little bit more. And I want it to start right at the bottom edge. That's where I want the sunset to start. Now I'd like this to persist for about four seconds. That means I'm going to take it out to frame 96. I'm going to put in a keyframe into each. Now this is a shape, it's not a symbol, so we're going to need to use a shape tween to move the gradient. So I'm going to right click in my sunset layer and I'm going to create a shape tween. I actually need to put in a keyframe right here, insert keyframe, and then I'm going to drag the center point of my sunset way down off the screen so the sun will completely set. Let's test this by hitting enter. There you go, you have a sunset effect.